Hey everyone, this is Heather with Tiller. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get set up using Tiller with Google Sheets. So here on the console, when you're first starting out and you haven't created any sheets yet, you'll be presented with the option to create a spreadsheet where you can choose between Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel. So in this video, we'll be covering how to get started with Google Sheets. So you click the start with Google Sheets button here. This is going to open up a copy of our foundation template. You can use our template here. You can start in a blank Google Sheet. You can use your own template. Once you've got the Tiller Money Feeds add-on installed, which I'll demo in just a minute, you can really just hook the feed to any Google spreadsheet. So in this video, we'll just go through the setup uh, for the foundation template for Google Sheets. So click use template here in the top right. This is going to create a copy of the foundation template in the Google Drive that is set as the default in the browser, which in this case is this user being shown here at the top. We do recommend that you set up your Tiller subscribe Google account as a default in the browser. We have some great help content about how to do that. It just makes everything flow really smoothly with the product. So here in the foundation template, uh, in our copy of it, we're going to click the link here to access the Tiller Money Feeds add-on so we can install the add-on. This is what connects your bank data to Google Sheets. So click install and run through the prompts here, allowing the add-on to connect to the Google account. Make sure this is the Google account that you use to subscribe to Tiller. Once we finish installing, we can just close out this tab and then more than likely we'll need to just refresh the page here to make sure that the add-on shows up in the add-ons menu. So from the add-ons menu, now we've got the Tiller Money Feeds add-on installed. We can go ahead and choose launch. It's gonna prompt us to sign in again. This is just signing into the Tiller service through the add-on, making sure the add-on has the right permission it needs to connect and pull in that data. So we go to a separate tab. Once again, choose that Google account you use to subscribe to Tiller. Click get started here. We'll link the sheet to the console. This is making the connection between the sheet and those bank accounts that we've already connected to the console. From here, we can choose to link specific accounts that we've got connected. We can also add more accounts if there's other you know, checking accounts, savings, investments, mortgages, things like that that we wanna add. We can do that right from the add-on as well. But in this case, we'll just choose the credit card we've got linked here. Once we select the accounts we'd like to fill data into the sheet with, we can click confirm. And then it's gonna start filling our sheet with data. Maybe less than a minute to fill that data in. Once the data is filled in for the first time, we get some helpful information here about how to keep the data fresh in our sheet, which we'll talk more about in the next video.